are off the Haynes Highway with this majestic view of the mountains. More majestic views. There's a glacier over there. Beautiful. It's been a beautiful drive. Well, when the rain cleared up, it's been a beautiful drive. Look, a trail system. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> we are off the road right now at a pull out with two of our other caravanners having lunch. We're gonna have lunch after the border crossing. So just wanted to stop and enjoy the beautiful side. The beautiful views. We are Apparently we left the Yukon and we are now in British Columbia. We're so confused. We don't know where we are. We're somewhere in Canada. Crossing back to the United States. And then crossing back to Canada to the Yukon for Whitehorse in a couple of days. But meanwhile we're going to... Tomorrow we're taking a boat ride. I'm going to go on a boat to Juno. The is Juno the capital? Uh, I think so. We think that Juno is the capital of Alaska. So, that's a boat ride. We are at Mile Road 33 Cafe having lunch. We need to change our time. We gained our hour back since we are back in Alaska. Okay, lunch time. Food, yay! At I cannot pronounce this. Some Indian meal goo. Jail kahat kawan. It's an eagle preserve, run by Native Americans. And way off in the distance, over there in the clump of trees, right, right there, there's a white spot. There's an eagle right there with an eagle's nest. And right off in the river right here, that brown spot is a brown eagle. So there are actually eagles here at the Eagle Preserve. It's very peaceful over here also. Here we are at Haynes Hitchup RV Park. We are a mile, half a mile from the town, which is that direction. It's really cute. It's, um, it's all paved. It's not paved, but it's rock, gravel, no dust anywhere, no potholes. The spaces are ample between the rigs, as you can see. Here we are at Space 61. It's a pull through. The site is leveled left and right. It's, it's really nice. You didn't have to level at all. 30 amp sewer, water, cable. Hopefully we don't have any issues with electrical. Look, look how much space there is between the two rigs. Nice ample space. So we have this side of the park. This is all us, caravan. I like this park. It's really, it's really nice. More majestic views. More majestic mountains over there. Really pretty. It's been raining most of the day driving here. It's been a good drive. We passed by Glacier. I don't know, some glaciers. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to do laundry in two days. So I'll check out the laundry room then. I don't know what the public facilities are. But it's now 9 o'clock and it's still light. It's amazing. Right. Tomorrow we are going to Juneau.
never been to Juno. Looking forward to it. Downtown so Juno. Aren't these home? Look at these. Beautiful. The Victorian style. It's actually very cute. So, it's a tourist town. There's three cruise ships over there at the harbor. And they are... There's two gold mines here apparently in Juno and everyone else is mining the tourists. So, very good job mining the tourists. Oh, and I had Filipino food, comfort food, dinner go on and rice. And Walter had a pork skewer. So we are going to have lunch later. Oh, are you Hamburger. Oh, you know, I meant to call at Hangar at the Wolf. But right now we are on our way to the tea shop. shop. So we can get t-shirts. very funny. There's a Manila Square here because it's a cruise ship town. So they're all here. And Dr. Jose Rizal, supposedly we're related on mom's side. <laughs> There's a statue of him here, or a bus. That's hilarious. And he looks like you. In the middle of Alaska. <laughs> he looks like you. <laughs> they're related. Mom's side. He's related on his mom's side. This is hilarious. Here we are in Juneau, Alaska at the hangar at the war. It's the hangar, bar and restaurant, and the power is completely out in the entire town. A lightning lightning has hit a transformer which blew out the entire town. So now everything is cash only. The restaurant is now closed. The bar is still open. And we're just watching the, gon the gondola come down from the mountain. Very slowly, they're doing it one at a time. And one of the cruise ships has already blown its horn, signaling the passengers to come back. So I don't, so it's not really our problem. However, it's still amusing to watch the people hurry back to the cruise ships. And I do feel very bad for the retailers that are in town who are losing out on so many business, so much business, because they have no way to process payments. So this is not good for Juno's economy right now. Very bad. Here at the restaurant, we paid cash. Could not. Okay. So that's our trip to Juno. According to whatever Alaska something light and power appears to be a lightning strike. We'll update when more info is available. And somebody else said a lightning struck a transformer. Well, unless they have replacement transformers here, they're not going to have power. <laughs> Until they can either ship a transformer from a different location. Yeah, you cannot, you cannot fix a transformer that has been electrified or struck by lightning. Once it's gone, it's gone. There's no way to, it's, it's, it's like a burnt out fuse. You cannot fix a burnt out fuse. You have to replace it. So this is essentially what happened here in Juno. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's amusing. We're just, I'm, we're just watching cruise ship people over there now. Yep, interesting. Interesting. We still have 40 minutes to kill. So we're just sitting here at the restaurant because I don't want to be outside. It's sprinkling and raining really hard right now. Back on the boat, just saw an eagle. That's Tom. <laughs> so we can get your directions here. Right off here, nine o'clock. Oh, there he is. Third one right 
Okay, there's the boat we were on and I made it through of course right now I feel like throwing up <laughs> not a good thing so the patch did work a little bit not too much though because right now I am really nauseous oh, look they're cleaning it over there they're cleaning it It's a good trip to Juno, even with the blackout. We are headed back to the RV site. As far as the RV site itself, yes, I would stay there again. I like the pull through, it's a clean park, the people there are nice. And tomorrow we're doing laundry, so I'll show you the laundry room. This is the laundry room here. It's very clean. They have an ironing board right here next to the front door. They've got folding tables that are the correct width. They've got four laundry here, four dryers, which are double size. Oh, and they got four more over here. Again, the laundry table or the table is good folding. It's about three and a half feet. And it's very clean. Look at that. They even provide baskets. Very nice. Lending library here. Chairs for sitting and waiting. Change. Machine. And you could buy fabric softener. Oh look. Paper towel. It's, it's just very clean. I like this laundry facility. Oh, look at this iron you can even iron if you are so inclined 